Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a quick favourites video. I thought I might as well just try one of these out and show you what I've been loving at the moment. It's mostly going to be beauty products, like one or two skincare. If you are not subscribed already, definitely subscribe and like the video as well and comment and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this Fenty lip paint it's in the colour Uncuff and I'm wearing it right now. So I think I might have a video on a few of these Fenty products already. I'll link that one below and you can sort of see that one tested and swatched and everything. If you have my sort of skin color, this is a really nice like pinky nude for you, like a very nice everyday color. I think that Fenty has around like about four or five of these lip paints. There's this one and there's one that is lighter. So if you are lighter in complexion, then definitely check out the lighter one of these. And if you are around tan skin or darker, then definitely check out this one. And I feel like this lasts more or less like around five to six hours, which is really good for a lip paint. I usually just sort of dab it on my lip and I get a really nice sort of stain with it. So yeah, definitely check this one out. And sticking with lip products, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is again from Fenty and it's just their gloss balm. This is the one that's in the color Fenty Glow and I absolutely love this lip gloss. Every time I wear it, people think that I've had my lips done or had lip fillers or something like that and I'm literally just like, I've got some on of that now, um, I'll put a little bit more on for you as well. So it's a really nice pink colour, so it does have, it does have colour to it, it's not like completely clear gloss but when you put it on it just it gives you a nice little sort of natural pinky tint if you are somebody that likes to wear gloss on their own you would absolutely love this but i usually like to wear this on top of other like lipsticks and stuff and i don't feel like like it doesn't compromise the color of the lipstick that you've put on underneath it still sort of gives you a really nice glossy look and I feel like it's just not sticky at all. The way that it sort of disappears from your lips as well, it disappears in like such a nice way that it sort of doesn't leave any residue or anything like that. It is a little bit pricey for a lip gloss. Like I could think it's like around 16 pound, I think. But if you are an avid lip gloss wearer, you just don't like anything uncomfortable being on your lips, then definitely check this one out. Next thing that I have is a concealer. And this is actually quite a shock to me. Like I didn't think that I would like this as much as I do. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I got it in the shade 25. I've got this on right now just underneath my eyes. It's a really nice sort of natural concealer. It reminds me a lot of the NARS Creamy Concealer but I feel like the NARS Creamy Concealer has a bit more coverage. I really like the colour of this one as well. This colour is definitely very yellow in tone so it's really nice for sort of brightening underneath the eyes so that's sort of what it looks like. It's not cakey, it doesn't crease, it's like really nice which I'm really shocked about because I sort of just bought it on a whim. So if you are looking for a new concealer definitely try this one out if you're looking for something that's sort of drugstore. There's only like a really a few concealers from the drugstore that I really like and I feel like I will definitely repurchase this as well. Maybe in a few different colours like I think this would be really nice to cream contour with as well. And the next favourite that I have is a primer and it is the Angel Veil vale Primer from NYX. I've done a whole video on this primer but you can again check that out for if you want like more detail into it and I do like a whole wear test into this product but I just wanted to keep this short and sweet. I absolutely love this product. I have dry skin but I have a really oily nose and t-zone. I use this product every single day. If I'm wearing makeup and if I'm not wearing makeup I'll still use this product because it sort of just helps to control the shine in that area and it just makes my makeup stay on all day so definitely check this one out. So the next 
thing I have is a palette and this is the EYN Nude Palette. I think I got this from Beauty Bay and I think this might be their own brand. It's um, basically just a neutrals palette, that's all it is. Um, I use it every single day. There's three colours in this palette that I use. Um, two, two, two colours that I use every day. So the two colours that I love to use are the black. As you can see I've hit pan on that because I, I love black eyeshadow and this is a really nice black eyeshadow to use. It's just really nice and soft and it's really pigmented. I use this um, in my eyebrows and I use it on top of my eyelid as well so um, I use it to line my lid. And then this brown colour, I'll use it underneath my eyes just for a little bit of definition. And I really like using this colour as well all over my lid. And I'm not wearing it today but it's a really nice, just sort of one of those like ready brown colours that just looks really nice on brown eyes. And to be honest, all the colours on in here are really nice and they're really nice you know neutral colors if you were to go away or something like that this is definitely the kind of palette that you need this is a really inexpensive palette as well i think it was around 12 pounds or something like that i've been using it for probably the last few months every single day and it's just nice to sort of in the mornings just grab this palette and know that all the colors that i'm gonna need to do whatever i'm doing they're gonna be in this palette and i don't really have to like go and look for other palettes or do anything like that so yeah definitely really like this one. The next thing that I have is another concealer and this is actually a concealer palette so this is the one from MAC. We discovered this and when I was sort of doing a big clear out and I was like oh my god this was amazing. I think it comes in three different shades this palette so this is the medium one. It comes with um, quite a few different colours that you can use on your face and different areas on your face as well. So they have like a really bright yellow colour which is very nice for brightening. They have a peachy colour which is nice for underneath your eyes and they have um, quite a few like they have four other concealers and it's a mix of NW's and um, NC's so that's sort of the cool tones and the warm tones. I really love this concealer palette because I feel like I can really like customize it and I find it really nice for when you're on holiday so instead of sort of carrying loads of different concealers you can sort of just carry this palette and you're basically done. I'm happy that I sort of rediscovered this one. So the next thing that I want to talk about is this Petal Soft gel toner from the body shop so this is just a normal toner however it's not liquid it's almost like a jelly form and it has these sort of petals in there it's really really hydrating if you do have dry skin i would definitely suggest that you try this out especially if you like body shop vitamin e toner which is really nice and soothing i usually use it in the mornings with a cotton pad when i did purchased this product the girl that was working at body shop told me that i actually don't need to use this with a cotton pad and um, because it soaks up a lot of the product and because this is a gel consistency you can put like a little bit onto your fingers rub it together and just sort of pat it into your skin it says it replumps with moisture soothes and softens i do definitely like agree with that it's just a very nice sort of pick me up in the morning so the next favourite is also a skincare product and I absolutely love this stuff. This is probably like my fourth bottle of this and it's from Holland and & Barrett and it is the vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. This product is so amazing. It's just a serum that you put on before you put on your moisturiser. I use this in the mornings and in the evening. In the mornings I usually use around two drops of this. In the evenings I'll use around four drops. And I find that as soon as you put this onto your skin, because it has that hyaluronic acid in there and the hyaluronic acid that like replumps it brings moisture into your skin your skin just drinks up this product the vitamin c in there just helps to brighten your skin and i feel like it definitely has done that for me i feel like a lot of my discoloration that i had on my skin has sort of started to fade i think it's definitely because of this product it doesn't sort of interfere at all with any of your like other moisturizers or skincare products it's not that expensive either i think it's around maybe 12 pounds which is really really affordable especially for a serum that has hyaluronic acid in that and vitamin c not really use any others 
but I probably will just continue to use this because I like it so much so definitely give this one a try especially if you have dry skin and even if you don't have dry skin and um, because it sinks into your skin so quickly I think that it's probably just good for all skin types so definitely try this one out it's really nice and then the perfume that is the perfume of you know, the while, the one that I've been using all the time and I absolutely love the smell of is this one from Monstera and it's called um, Roses Vanilla and it just smells like roses, it smells like vanilla, it lasts really long on the skin, like it lasts definitely the whole day. I'm really bad at describing scents, but if you do like oud, and if you like roses and if you like a tint of vanilla in there as well definitely go to Selfridges which is where they stock this and have a sniff and see if you like it I do know that it has been out of stock for about three months so it's definitely either a bestseller or um, they don't have many in stock I don't know which one it is but it does really smell nice and it smells like something that you wouldn't you wouldn't have smelled before if that makes sense it's a very unique smell and when you put it on your skin it smells different on every person so definitely just give this a try smell it in store and then spray some on yourself and just sort of go about your day and see how you like it so yeah definitely check this one out as well so that is the end of my favorites um i hope that you enjoyed thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.